First thing we want to talk about are definitions. And the first definition we want to discuss is that of mass. What is mass? Mass is a measure. It's a measure of what? Of some object's inertia. It's a measure of what? Of some object's inertia. Your next question to me should be inertia. What's that? So we need a definition for inertia now. So what is inertia? Inertia is resistance to something. It is resistance to change. That's it, just resistance to change? Oh, oh no, it is resistance to change in an object's motion. Resistance, inertia is resistance to what? To change in an object's motion. While mass measures, measures what? That kind of resistance. What resistance? The resistance to change in an object's motion. So mass does what? Once again, it measures an object's inertia. So here's our next definition, and that is the definition of force. What is force? Force is an action. It's a what? It's an action. Hmm. What is it an action of? It is an, it is an action of object number one on object number two. It's an action of object number one on object number two. In statics, the quantities that you deal with are scalar, scalar quantities, and what other kinds of quantities do you deal with? You also deal with vector quantities. A scalar is a number. I'm sorry, what is it? Scalar is a number. And I got no direction. That means it's a number not associated with things like north or south or east or west. None. None of that. It's just a what? A number. So let's say you're asked the question, how much do you weigh? Your answer may be like mine. I am 170 pounds. This 170, that number, is a scalar value. Sorry, what is that? That's a scalar value. Or here's another question. For example, how tall are you? The answer in my case is six foot one inch. That is a scalar value. No direction, straight out number. 170 pounds, six foot one. These answers are answers of magnitude. Now a vector quantity au contraire is going to have something else. It's going to have magnitude, just like the scalar, but it's also going to have direction. So it's going to have magnitude, and it'll also have direction. So here's another question. From what direction and what speed is the meteor that's coming our way? So it's asking us two questions. From what direction? And what's the speed? Well, if you've got, if you get an answer that's something like 50,000 miles per hour northwest, that's a vector. It has magnitude and it has direction. Doesn't it have those, th those two things? magnitude and direction. That's a vector quantity. 
Now you can represent vector direction with an arrow. What can you do? You can represent vector direction with an arrow. Well here's a vector. Now which way is the force being exerted? In other words the force is being exerted which way? This way? Or this way? Which way? Well, the arrowhead gives us a sense. What does it do? It gives us a sense of which way. So what do you think we call this arrowhead? We call it the sense. Because it gives us a sense of which way. And tell me something more about this vector. Well, this vector, we just gave it a sense, but what angle is it from the reference axis? And this, of course, over here is your reference axis. Well, what over where, Gary? Well, this guy, the, the blue guy. This is your reference axis. And so what do you say we mark it? This is your reference axis. So what angle is it, that is the vector, from the reference axis. So let's give it an angle of 45 degrees. And we'll call this vector F. And this is how you do it. You write the letter F and a little harpoon. So what you'll have is like a letter, like an F or an R. And of course you're going to have a harpoon on top to indicate a vector. So that it would be F an harpoon or R harpoon. In fact, it doesn't have to be just F or R. It can be any letter. So a little bit of a review. The most fundamental quantities that are used to describe other quantities in statics are scalars like mass and time. And these guys are represented by lowercase m and lowercase t. And then there are vectors and we know that these vectors are represented with a letter and a harpoon like so. Here's vector f and these vectors represent magnitude and direction. I'm sorry, what do they represent? They represent magnitude and direction. What does? A vector does. Well, that's it for me. Me be out of here. So long now.